What up everyone, I'm Matt, and today I've got a real treat for you all. Recently, I asked our data analysts at Adopt Me to do something really important. I was curious and wanted to know what the rarest pets in Adopt Me actually were by the numbers. So they went into the files of the game and pulled out the information on how often a pet was equipped when people logged out so we could get a better idea of what pets were actually the rarest in Adopt Me. When they got the information to me, I was amazed and I'm sure you will be too. It's time to go over the top 10 rarest pets in Adopt Me. The Monkey Fairground. It's one of the most talked about updates in Adopt Me history, for some reason. Maybe it's because of the incredible monkey themed pets that were added to the game over the course of the event. One of those cute little monkeys was the Business Monkey. To unlock the Business Monkey, a player needed to find three briefcase ingredients from the monkey box, which would allow players to transform a normal monkey into a Business Monkey. Unlike the normal monkey, the Business Monkey wears a suit and carries a briefcase with its tail which is super cute. The business monkey was only equipped 649,676 times upon logout. And while that might sound like a lot, it's actually only 0.06% of all logouts, which clearly proves how rare this pet is. Next up on our list in the number nine spot is the blue dog. Now, this one surprised me a little bit because there's actually a 100% chance to hatch a blue dog from a blue egg. But then I thought about it just a little bit more and things began to make slightly more sense than they had previously. You see, the only way to actually obtain a blue egg is by completing a quest line that was only ever active during the Easter update from 2019. If you didn't complete the quest then, then you literally can't get a blue egg. And well, if you can't get a blue egg, then you can't get a blue blue dog either. Because of that, the blue dog was only equipped 634,113 times on logging out, which is a slightly smaller 0.06%. Number eight on this list is the Puffin. Once again, this pet is one that is locked behind an event that has come and gone, which means it can no longer be unlocked by new players. The Puffin was part of the 2021 Winter Holiday and could only be unlocked by players if they managed to get 120,000 gingerbread to purchase it. You could earn gingerbread by taking part in the various fun games that were going on at the time of the event. The Puffin was the absolute most valuable gingerbread reward that was added as part of this event, which is probably why so few people have it equipped today. The Puffin was only equipped 615,136 times, which again is 0.06% of the player base. Number seven is a real chill cutie, the Capybara. Now, unlike the first three pets that we've spoken about in this video, the Capybara wasn't actually part of any event. The reason this one is so rare is because it was added a very, very long time ago. The Capybara was added as part of the Jungle Egg back on August 31st, 2019. Players had a 22.5% chance of hatching the Capybara from each Jungle Egg, which is a pretty high percentage. That being said, it was one of the two uncommon pets out of the seven pets that were in the egg, so it makes sense that it would be pretty easy to get. The Capybara was equipped 414,836 times upon people logging out, which is only 0.04% of all logouts. Okay, if you're still watching, it's time for me to ask you the question of the episode. Every time I do one of these list videos, I like to ask everyone a question so I can show off the answers in the next list video I make. And this time, I want to know what's your favorite pet from the Pet Egg Refresh? Let us know in the comments and I'll show off some of yours in the next list video. We're sticking with the jungle egg for number six. It's the platypus. Much like the capybara, the platypus was added to the game as part of the jungle egg back on August 31st, 2019. Unlike the capybara, however, hatching it was just a little bit more difficult. Okay, maybe a lot more difficult. This ultra rare pet actually only had a 7.5% of being hatched from the jungle egg, which means it was fairly difficult to get. That all being said, there weren't actually that many fewer platypuses equipped than there were capybaras. This pet was equipped a total of 407,120 times, which is also 0.04% of all logouts. All right, once again, let's take a trip back 
to the Monkey Fairground. Only this time, we're talking about the Monkey King. Much like the business monkey, in order to get the Monkey King, you needed three special ingredients and a monkey to obtain it. For the Monkey King, you needed three of the staff ingredient, which could only be obtained from the monkey box. These only had a 5% chance of being obtained when opening the box, which meant getting enough staffs to make a Monkey King was a really rare occurrence. There were only 393,418 Monkey Kings equipped when players logged out, which is just 0.04% of all logouts. We are sticking with event pets for number 4 on the list, and this time it's the Musk Ox. The Musk Ox was part of the Winter Holiday 2020 event, which means it was only available for purchase a year and a half ago. You could get the Musk Ox for 3,500 gingerbread, making it the second easiest pet to get as part of that year's winter event. If that's the case, then why is this pet so rare in our statistics? Well, it might just be a case of this pet not being very popular, instead of it actually being significantly rare. Either way, the Musk Ox was only equipped 374,221 times, making up 0.04% of all logouts. We're into the top three, and this one might surprise you. It's the Wild Boar. Added back in the very first Adopt Me Egg, the Safari Egg, back in July 2019, it's sort of not surprising that the Wild Boar is as rare as it is. That's a really long time ago. Lots of pets have come out since then, and a lot of the players that would have been playing then may have even moved on from our game. However, this is the only Safari Egg pet to appear on this list, and the Wild Boar was actually the most common pet to be gotten from the egg. So once again, maybe people have just forgotten about it. The Wild Boar was only equipped 237,783 times when people locked out, making up a tiny 0.02% of all logouts. We're going to be taking a trip to the desert for number two, because we're talking about the Golden Scarab next. The Giant Gold Scarab is one of three Scarab pets that can be found in the Desert Shop, which can only be accessed when the Adopt Me map has Desert Weather. Desert Weather was added to Adopt Me on the 20th of January 2022, and is only available once a month for 36 hours. This means that, while the Scarab has actually been around for over half a year, there have been a very limited number of times that you could actually get one. To get the Giant Scarab, you need to toss a Mud Ball, at which point you only have a 2.5% chance to get the Gold Scarab. That's probably why the Gold Scarab was only equipped 171,819 times upon logging out, making up 0.02% of all logouts. Super rare. Now, when I asked for the data regarding all of the pet statistics in Adopt Me, it was actually before the new penguins and the new basic pet egg were added to the game. So technically, my data is a little bit out of date. It's very likely that pets like the new Diamond King Penguin and legendary pets in the pet egg like the Ancient Dragon, the Alicorn and the Dragonfly are all just as rare or even rarer than some of the top spots on this list. However, I just don't have the data for them, so I haven't included them as proper numbered entries on this list. Just know that I'm very aware that these pets all exist and are probably pretty rare at the moment. So rare, I don't even know where to put them on the list. So, with that in mind, our current number one top rarest pet in Adopt Me, not including the aforementioned new additions, is the Diamond Albatross. Similar to Scarabs, the Albatross can only be obtained when there is a special type of weather present on the Adopt Me Island. In this case, it's the snowy winter weather. You'll need to head into the snowy igloo shop on the 28th of every month, and then purchase a golden clam to be able to have a chance to get this pet. The winter weather was added to the game on May 12th, 2022, so it's actually only been available less than a handful of times since being added to the game. Not only that, you've only got a 2.5% chance of getting a diamond albatross when you use the golden clam which are really some pretty low odds. Altogether, the Diamond Albatross was only equipped 91,527 times when people logged out of Adopt Me. That's not even 100,000, and it makes up 0.01% of all logouts. So there you have it everyone, the top 10 rarest pets in Adopt Me. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and learning about all the rare pets in the game. 
If you did, leave a like so I know just how much you liked it. Also, make sure you subscribe with the bell button turned on so that you never miss another Adopt Me video. I'll see you all next time. Have a great day.